It's World Diabetes Day. We are from the Technical Office of Non-Infectious and Non-Communicable Disease, Babcock University Association of Medical Students. And today, we decided to spread awareness on diabetes. Now, you might be wondering, what is diabetes? Diabetes is a group of metabolic disorders characterized by hyperglycemia due to absolute or relative insulin deficiency. There are two types of diabetes mellitus, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is an autoimmune beta cell destruction and leads to insulin deficiency. Type 2 diabetes mellitus can be defined as a spectrum ranging from predominantly insulin resistance to relative insulin deficiency, usually associated with obesity. Diabetes is a serious health condition in Nigeria. The sources from the National Diabetes Federation show that 5.5 million people have been diabetic over one year and it shows, also shows that there will be rapid increase of, of new times because of the lifestyle of people. So you might be wondering what are the signs and symptoms of diabetes? Well, you don't have to wonder anymore. Basically, there are some cardinal symptoms. We have um, polyuria, which is when there's an increased urine output. We have polydipsia, which is when there is an increased test. We also have weight loss despite polyphagia, which is increased appetite. So we also have some which include blurry vision or cataract. We also have slow wound healing and many others. Okay, so what are the causes of diabetes? Diabetes is caused by relative or absolute insulin deficiency or insulin resistance. There are various things that could predispose an individual to diabetes. It includes obesity, hypertension, sedentary lifestyle, smoking, alcohol. On complications of diabetes, we have diabetes neuropathy, we have diabetes nephropathy, we have diabetic foot ulcer, we have Alzheimer's disease, we have cardiovascular damage, we have hearing impairment. On talking about the management of diabetes, can it be managed non-pharmacologically and pharmacologically? On the non-pharmacological aspect, it's all certain lifestyle changes like avoiding sugary foods and foods filled with saturated fat, exercises more often daily and make sure you check your food content daily. And for the pharmacological aspect, you can be given insulin either intramuscularly, intravenously or subcutaneously or drugs known as oral glucose lowering agents which will be prescribed by your doctor. Thank you.